it to me one more time. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Well, your friend guy didn't mean to fight. No, 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 no. But that's serious. I'm not kidding. Not, I know, I, I know. I get it. Not gonna happen again. So you have learned and mastered in infinity from my previous video tutorial, link in the description, and now want to expand it. Well, there are several ways to do so, and today I will show you one of them, the easiest one of them. The trick is called double infinity, seems complicated, doesn't it? Don't worry, it will be much easier to learn with this tutorial. You see, these tutorials make people learn pen spinning tricks within minutes. You can combine this trick with a normal infinity and loop such link, or do just it alone continuously. Such a varied variety of various variations. You start with the doing infinity and when pen gets to 1-2, you let it fall, but instead of placing thumb under it, like we do in a single infinity, we place ring finger in there. This way we stop pen between 1, 2 and 3. Let's move one away. Now press pen with 2 and raise 3 to get pen vertically. We will need to practice a little to drop pen in slot 2-3, not dropping it on table, we are an old masters so in dropping pens on tables. Let it fall down between middle and ring. It will be easier if you hold pen by fingers tips and the fingers better be slightly curved. This way you will create a bigger gap between them than if you hold the pen lower than that. Maybe it will be easier for you to move it with straightened fingers, holding pen between knuckles. Now try to do this movement, wiper from horizontal position. If you hold pen firmly enough, you can make this drop barely by turning hand down. Try to change spot your grip a grip. You may see that if you place tip of 2 high on a grip, it may be easier to do wiper in 2-3. And when you can do it, move one under pen to stop it. Just don't try to get index down before pen starts falling from 2-3. When you turn hand to make wiper, together with that you lower index. You can even turn hand more with outer side towards to you. This will seamlessly place index below and even more seamlessly let pen fall on it. And we'll end it in 1-2 with 2 above 1 like that. And now the motion of a hand is going to be the same as when we do infinity in t1. While holding a pen in 1-2 by its grip, we make this round motion, like if you move hand around the ball, from palm away from you to palm towards to you. Also you move 2 from above 1 to below it, and by this we make pen do this circular motion and fall on thumb. For that you can also just uh, sway a little bit hand at the end to push pen on finger. It is like extended second half of single infinity, when you start like this and make this an extended circle with the pen. Once you get pen in t1, make another round hand motion to let it drop in slot and start new double infinity. Or you can just stop it in thumb flap and finish the trick. Of course to do it smoothly, to master it, you will spend some time. A good thing is that it, this is not that trick which makes you drop pen a lot. So you can practice whenever and wherever you want, even in a bus or on the ground. There is a little hint which will make mastering of this trick thousand times easier. So when pen goes from T1 till 2-3, you mostly keep pen palm down and sway hand like you're grooving. When it gets to 2-3, you turn hand palm side and begin to sway it like you don't get it. This will help you to make pen pass from slot to slot in circular motions, but remember that less you sway hand, more elegant your spin looks. So ideally you master in double infinity till you can do it with a steel hand. Not required though. 